welcome or welcome back to the channel. I am Jasera Renee. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video, which is a hair tutorial. I did a sewing half up, half down, okay, um, with some bundles from this amazing hair company. So yeah, I'm gonna hit you guys with a cute look 360 real quick, so you can get that vibes. And if you are interested to see how I installed this hair and did this style, and keep on watching. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, this hair is from Indie Care Extensions. It'll be my first time trying them. So this is like my test run to see how I like the hair. So I'm trying to keep my hair protected as much as I possibly can. Hence why I'm doing a protective style today. So first things first, I am sectioning out my hair. I'm going for a half up, half down hairstyle today. So yeah, I'm trying to see how much hair I want to leave out. So in terms of a guide, I'm going to part right behind my ear for the sections. Okay, so now that we have our sections and we look absolutely crazy, I'm about to get into all the products that I will be using for today's style. So I will be using a cap in the back of my head because I want to protect my hair. So I'm probably going to sew the perimeter of this down, cut off the access, and then go into some of the hair. You can also do a quick weave method for this hairstyle as well. So you're also going to need a bright tail comb for parting, of course, a sleek brush and some wax, a wax stick, or something that is really good for your hair in terms of slicking it down but not reverting your curls. I'll be putting a lot of oil on my scalp honestly in the back because girl my hair and my scalp needs all the nourishment it can get which is also why I will be using a leave-in conditioner for my cornrows in the back. Of course I have my thread with my handy dandy scissors and my needles all threaded so this process can go by a little quicker so in terms of a pattern for my braid now i'm going to do two braids going down this way so the thread has something to grip onto is basically going to be like my anchor braids and then i'm just going to do them straight in the back whichever way i can okay so i'm going to go ahead and speed through this process I just did that okay that looks it don't even look it is nice and flat it's secure and I absolutely love that for me okay so what I'm gonna do is just tuck this last braid in and put my cap right over it I'm not even gonna sew it down because it's gonna be hard to take out so I'm going to tuck that braid back there and put on the cap like so And I think what I'm going to do now is just secure it by sewing the perimeter. I look absolutely crazy. This is hilarious. And then we're going to cut off all this extra. Okay, so braid down and cap completely on. But I will say, since this was my first time doing it, my braids on this side are kind of exposed. And like right here at the top. So... Next time I'll do a better job of like getting underneath the cap, but we'll save that for next time, okay? Like I said, this is Indique's version here, extensions, okay? This is what they look like. They're all individually packaged in a net 
which I absolutely love. This one is 20 and this is their Sumatra Wave. Love that they put that information on the tag because everyone doesn't do that. First impressions of the hair is super soft. It, it has a smell. It kind of smells good. It smells like hair, but it smells good. It doesn't have like that fishy odor that some hair hair companies usually have. I will say the ends look, I don't want to say straggly. They just look thinner. So I will definitely be giving myself probably like a black cut. Not many tangles, not much shedding. I literally got like one strain. You probably can't even tell. So let's get started. <music> Say I don't care what they say about us now mm. yeah. I don't wanna have no conversation They just wanna fuck it all up now yeah. All up. Yeah. I like bad bitches, mad bitches If you ain't 100, then you can't sit with us If you ain't 100, then you can't sit with us Everybody swear they know about us Okay you guys, I have all my hair in I just tried to cover all my hair as much as possible I ended up playing two full bundles in I didn't want it to be like too, too much hair So now we are going to do our ponytail part kiss and it'll be linked in my description box got it from amazon and i'm just going to take it and curl my edges just so we can give it like the finishing the finishing touch and whatnot probably want to take a little bit of edge control and do my edges only want to put it at the base since you just like curl your edges and see it kind of does it on its own and it's going to be nice and light and fluffy it literally does not take much just a little bit at the base and then flick it and it kind of does it on its own love that and as soon as you like the way your baby hairs come out girl pull your um scarf over it so it can kind of like lock it in but now it's time to get the bun what i'm doing right now is just taking a little piece of my last bundle I have a good amount left and I'm just wrapping it around the band. Remember, you're putting this hair in a ponytail like you're putting it in a bun so it don't need to be like super, super secure because whatever scrunchy or rubber band you use is going to further secure it. I hope that makes sense. So let me turn around for y'all so y'all can see what I'm doing. So yeah, just taking this. And wrapping it around the ponytail and the more you wrap the tighter it gets so once it feels pretty secure to you you're gonna then like start forming your bun so I'm gonna take the hair and twist it and then like continuously twist it around itself Okay, perfect. Now, while I have a little bit of hair left still at the top, at the middle of the bun, I'm going to go ahead and take my scrunchie. I would recommend using, like, a rubber band, but, girl, I don't got none. <laughs> and I don't think you'll be able to see it that much anyways when 
I put my little spikes down. I'm going to comb the little part that's left out. And I'm going to take my mini flat iron. And I'm going to like bump the ends. Y'all feel delusional. It's like so late. I'm so tired and like hungry. I'm going to go in with some scissors. Cause it's kind of too long on the scissors. Don't worry, this ain't my hair, so I don't care. Kind of like so like that, and when I get it to what looks cute, I'm gonna spray it. So yeah, now let's see what it's giving from the back. Who is calling me? How is she, y'all? What is it giving? Is it cute? Is it tea? The little bunny bun? Let us pray she's cute. Oh, she's tea. She's taking it, honey. Okay, you guys. So, I think this is the final product. I have been adding extra curls and messing with this hair so much. Girl, I'm over it. But it's actually really, really cute. So, this is it from the front. So let me give you guys a close-up. She is taking it, honey. Okay. Um, I wish the hair laid a little flatter on the sides. But that's probably the way I installed it. I recommend going in a curve. But I didn't do that. So this is the front and then this is the back. She is super cute. And then the sides, you can see like the spikes and stuff. I think she's so cute. This is a protective style. None of my hair is really out for a for real. Like of course up here, but girl it's not getting damaged okay and i'm sure this style will probably last me like a week and then i could just take the top out and redo my bun and yeah if i do it like that it'll probably last me like two weeks so i hope you guys enjoyed this really cute hairstyle if you did, please be sure to give me a like on this video so I know that you enjoyed this type of content. And I hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye, mamas.